Hello, welcome back again to Engineering Semester Channel. Today let's start the another interesting topics of the WebRTC tutorial series. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. From this video onwards we are going to deeply into WebRTC technology. In this video I would like to explain the introduction of WebRTC APIs. Let us get started then. We know that WebRTC is an HTML5 specification that enables for voices and video communication to work inside web pages. But WebRTC is not limited to only browsers because it is also available for mobile applications too. In few years ago, if you wanted to build anything that allowed for voice or video calling you were most probably used C or C++ language. Now today WebRTC changes the C or C++ and replace it with its JavaScript APIs. SDKs are also available for both mobile and embedded environments so that you can use WebRTC to run anywhere. It is a powerful technology. Now let us see how easily WebRTC works. In WebRTC most of the complex part are still developed in C or C++ language. But developers that use WebRTC won't need to dig deep into these underlying layers in order to develop their applications. WebRTC is available in all modern browsers, like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Apple Safari and Microsoft Edge. Also you can take WebRTC and integrate it into an application or an embedded device. Without the need of browser at all, WebRTC offers to you that can access the microphone and the camera of your devices. And also you can build screen sharing or recorded remotely application as well. One important fact is, WebRTC is not limited to voice and video. It allows sending any type of arbitrary data like text chatting. The idea around WebRTC are limitless. Let us go and start building whatever you need and use WebRTC for that. Next let us see WebRTC APIs. The WebRTC standard covers on a high level. Two different technologies. One is media capture devices and other is peer-to-peer -peer connectivity. Media capture devices includes video cameras and microphones. For cameras and microphones, we use navigator.mediadevices.getusermedia API to capture media streams. The peer-to-peer -peer connectivity is handled by the RTC peer connection interface. This is the central point for establishing and controlling the connection between two peers in WebRTC. That's it for now. I hope you got a better idea about WebRTC more and its APIs. Let us see more in detail in the upcoming videos. If you are thinking this is informative, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.